All right, this is just another quick print. If you've seen some of my other prints, you've noticed that uh, most of my prints are in the center. They're always in the center, but they've been, you know, kind of smallish uh, in the center, which again shows how uh, easily it does print. And uh, many of the prints, and several of them, were, were, were there was no surface area on the bed at all, but yet it it, uh, it adhered fine. This particular print goes pretty much all the way uh, within an inch to the outside of the uh, print surface. Um, you can see here that I got a little bit short on the tape, but it's still fine because it landed right there where it's supposed to. Uh, you can see here in the close-up, there's no brim, it's not required. There's no raft or messy, you know, glue, glue sticks to clean up all the time. I know other means of printing does require uh, it does require some kind of a glue. Uh, as you can see, there's no uh, no glue stick here at all. It'd be kind of smeared everywhere. And as you can see, it, it's not. Uh, I want to show real quick here too that it's a non-heated bed. That's the set point, non-heated right there. My uh, nozzle's at 205. And there you see, it's holding at 205. Um, there's no enclosure. It doesn't need an enclosure. Uh, again, doing it in this fashion, you don't need an enclosure. Okay. Um, let me bring this back here. Uh, you can see my uh, filament holders right here. Uh, so it has a direct path right here into the extruder. Okay, so there's no friction on any arms or levers or gizmos or gadgets or pulleys or whatever to redirect it. And it basically just goes straight in, straight through the extruder. This is not a metal extruder. You can see that for yourself. It's the original extruder uh, because you know why? It works. It always has worked, always will work. If that arm right there, which is another part of the extruder, if it ever uh, gets damaged or, or cracks or whatever, it's like three bucks, five minutes, replace the arm, continue printing. It's like if your tires go flat in the car, don't replace the whole car, just the tires, okay? Simple as that. Uh, this is the white bone tube, not the blue tube. The blue tube has a smaller inside diameter, which causes friction around this uh, curve right here. You don't want that. You see here, this is the standard hot end. There's nothing about this hot end that's been added to. There's no uh, added so-called upgrades. Um, even the factory upgrades on a factory um, Ender 3 uh, is not required. Uh, this is the factory Ender 3. It was designed to print PLA. It's printing now, PLA. Okay. You see there's no direct drive, not required. Uh, I, I guess some printers or some users require a direct. This doesn't. You can see it for yourself. No electronic gizmo here because you know why? Again, I use this paper filler gauge. That's it. I do my tramming on the tape, not out here. So even if the, the, the tape was right in here, I do it on the tape because you have to take into account the thickness of the tape. Okay? It's, it, the printer is pretty precise when it comes to uh, the surface that it prints on. So basically, I tram right there on the corner there, corner back there, there, and here. That's it. Uh, I don't have to do a, a test print to check my work. I don't have to draw lines or print lines and squares and circles and whatever the hell else. Uh, some people seem to think they need to print. Once you've trammed it using this, then start printing. Just go ahead and, and, and find your G-code, load, uh, load your filament, Make sure everything's trammed properly, and it's going to stay trammed because I don't know of any time in the past that those knobs have ever come unthreaded, unscrewed. You can see there it's about in the center of the screw. The, the spring is properly compressed. It has a little bit of thread down here. This is proper, okay? So the springs, if they're properly used and installed correctly, you won't have any issues. There's no time that those knobs have ever come unthreaded by themselves during the print. That's just, just not likely at all. Uh, if they are, then you've not set up your bed properly. You have to figure out what else is at play, find out what's wrong. Because if you have the knob centered on perfectly compressed springs, you can see that, a little bit of threads out the bottom, and then there's enough compression there to hold everything in place as it was designed, as it's supposed to. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. 